Good afternoon, folks. Um, I wanted to shoot a quick video today. A customer asked me a question on Friday that uh, I thought it would be worthwhile sharing. Had a job that they had primed already. They used a red oxide primer on, and the customer said, hey, we actually want this galvanized. It was already out in the field, so he called and asked if they could spray, apply the galvanized paint directly to the primer if it would do the job. Well, the primer is basically only a barrier. So if it's scratched or scraped, anything like that, water or anything can get in, it won't, uh, it won't protect itself. Galv paint actually cathodically attaches to the steel and becomes part of the steel. It's actually one of the weakest, the uh, zinc is one of the weakest metals, so it self-sacrifices itself. So when, uh, in this case, the enemy being water uh, attacks it, the zinc takes a place, much like the Secret Service. You know, if somebody's shooting the president, the Secret Service gets in front of them. Uh, but anyways, in order for that to work the right way, it has to be applied directly to the surface, not only directly to the surface, but directly to a clean surface. Uh, so if you applied it over a primer or something like that, your gal paint is as good as not doing it. Now, that also brought to mind, we had a customer one time that they would clean the steel with a power washer. Um, that's also a problem because when they clean the steel, with this, they use a prior washer to clean the steel, sprayed galvanized paint over it, the galvanized paint actually trapped the water between the steel and the steel wound up rusting. So make sure you clean with like a wire brush um, and don't use a power washer because that's not good. That's all for this week. Have a great week.